you need to um, come up with designs. So let's let's do that really quick, okay? Um, let me come up. I think I have a folder somewhere that's got some designs in it that we can use. Graphic designs. Let's go in with some t-shirt designs. Um, okay, here's some old graphic designs. Back back in 2014, this is a whole folder I have, so I don't mind sharing these ones. But let's go here to Country Girls. Let's say, um, let's do Country Girls. Let's do this one. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Okay, country girls play like a boy. Um, let me see if I can get this a little bit bigger for you guys. Country girls play like a boy, love like an angel, and know their way around a shotgun. So here's an example of a um, here's an example of a design. You can go and you can basically find like designers for like five dollars that'll do designs like this for five or ten bucks. Just basic text. Country girls play like a boy, love like an angel, and know the way around a shotgun. So this would be tailored. This would sell to um, a woman who is interested in country music or country-related brands or things like that who also has an interest in shotguns or guns or um, Second Amendment or something like that. So essentially like a Midwest girl, if you will, right? So... You go, you do something like this. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's download this graphic. Let's go ahead and download this to um, my desktop, Country Girls. Let's go design a t-shirt or hoodie just because I have this graphic. And look at all these different t-shirts you could do. Women's tees, youth hoodies, long sleeves, sweatshirts. Let's do like a sweatshirt. Let's do a black sweatshirt like that. And then let's upload the design, Country Girls. And it's going to upload it. And this is how easy it is. You just upload a transparent design. There it is. Country Girls, okay? And you can literally, like, um, you can go make it bigger if you want to. You can do a lot with it, okay? You can go and you can you can reverse it. You can just do all kinds of stuff. So basically, I'm just kind of showing you the exact, um, there's all kinds of, like, little options that you can do. You can snap it to the center to make sure this thing stays in the center. Um, you can rotate it a little bit. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do, okay? So... You can put it up higher, you know, you can make it bigger. Okay, cool stuff you can do. So you basically upload a, a design, put it on a sweatshirt, choose what colors, and you can add another color. So maybe I want to have one that's black, and you can kind of scroll over and see what, it doesn't look good on white, doesn't really look good on red, looks a little bit good on blue, purple. So maybe like that color looks good. Add another color, blue. So you could have like a black one, a purple one, a blue one. Now your base cost is $15.90 per sale. Um, Oh, sorry, your profit is $15.90 per sale. So if I sell this for $29.95, I'm going to make $15 per sale. But if I sell it for $24.95, I'm going to make $10. If I sell this for $19.95, I'm going to make $5.90. So the logic here is when I'm first starting, I'm going to sell this for like $19.95. And then after I sell a few, I'm going to bump it up to like $24.95 and then see if I can sell more. And then after a while, I'm going to bump it up to $29. I'm going to just keep raising the price to see what I can get away with. But I'm gonna start small to see if I can actually um, if I can actually do that. Now, personalized design layer, this allows you to be able to do stuff like that. Don't worry about any of that. Right now, you're just basically doing this and you're just uploading an image. You can I can move it around and make it bigger if I wanted. And then it gives you like a default um, text, just released, limited time only, uh, not available in stores, guaranteed safe checkout. See how it gives you this default stuff so you don't even have to add it if you want. Campaign title, um, I'll say um, country girls, um, country girls uh, exclusive or something like that. That's the name of the shirt. Country girls exclusive. You can do an optional category if you want, but you don't even really need to. Uh, optional tags, you don't need to. Now this this is how long it's going to run because this is going to put a countdown timer. So you can basically say this is this is only available for one day or this is only available for two days, three days, six days. So this will put a six-day countdown timer. It's only available for six days, and then it's off the market. Choose a URL. We'll do like country, um, country girl. Sorry, country, country. I'm spelling wrong. Country girl shotgun. Okay, country girl shotgun. Something like that, right? And that's how you come up with a URL. And then you you set the selling price. We've got it set at twenty four ninety five. It's a sweatshirt though, so I might be able to sell it like twenty nine ninety five. And then this is like a profit preview. So this kind of shows you like your different profit margin, 
your estimated profit is if you sell five of this, this hoodie, your estimated profit is $79.50. If you sell 250 of the hoodie, your estimated profit is 4,600 on this. If you can sell 1,000, your estimated profit is 19,530, right? So it gives you like a profit preview that you can kind of figure it out. Now, you see how this has four colors? If we would have just uploaded a one color design, we would make more profit. And if you uploaded like more than six colors, it makes a lot of profit. So if you have a very colorful design, you make less profit because the print on demand company has to show a lot of different colors. Uh, it takes them more, more harder to print multiple colors. So the less colors you have, the more profit you're gonna make. This is four colors. There's my estimated profit, just like that. Um, so you're gonna make, you know, it kind of like, you can kind of see like estimates, pretty cool. Okay, so that's your profit preview. Your button text could be buy it now, all this kind of stuff. Terms of service, and you can launch the campaign, right? So it's processing, launching, and just like that, pretty simple, right? I've got um, the ability to be able to sell this now. Country goals exclusive. So now in my account, if I want to, here's a URL. I can start advertising this right now. This is print on demand. I can start advertising it right now. We haven't even hooked it up to Shopify. If I just want to test this, I get to start selling it right now. Okay? So you see how, see how simple this was? I'm just showing you. Now look, available till April 8th. It's got a six-day or five, five-day and six-hour countdown. It's got a countdown timer. It's got colors that the person can look at and can choose. It's got a sizing chart automatically built in. This is all built in for you. And this is very, very simple. Right now, somebody can buy it. And when somebody buys it, I earn like $15. So right now, without anything, low risk, all I did was I uploaded a, a design and I have a sales page and I can literally make like $15 right now if somebody buys this. So what I'll do is I'll take this, this, this post or whatever and I would go over to you know Facebook and I would go like, you know, we'll teach this in another one of the 90 days, but I just want to show you how simple it is. Let's just call this one, like, I'll create a fan page. Don't worry, I'm going to go fast here. Uh, country girls, um, let's do, let's just, I'm going to make up a page. Country girls anthem. Get started. Oh, whoops, I didn't choose a category. Let's just call it like a website. Country girls anthem. That doesn't even really matter which, what you call that. It's not like this even matters. There's my country girls anthem. Here's my new page. Let's add a picture. Let's go over here and let's add country girls wallpaper. Let's see if there's a let's see if there's an image I can really quickly use, like some sort of country girl uh, image, something that like looks really cool or whatever. Um, I don't know, something like this for right now. With some wallpaper. Here's a nice like little country girl wallpaper, whatever. I'll take like a little screen capture of, of, of a little bit of it. Let's just do like that. This might not even work really quick, but who cares? Um, country girl profile picture. So I, I wouldn't actually use this one probably, but I'm just going to go fast. So what I would do is I'd go to Facebook, and I would just go in here, and I would just go make a add a picture, a country girl picture. And now I got a, I've got a page called, I've got a page called the country girl, um, country girl anthem, country girls anthem. I don't even know why I chose anthem. I think I saw it in the background. It was just was in my mind. So country girls anthem. I just made up a page. It was free to create. And there's my little country girl profile picture. And I got my new page. That's it. All you need is a page. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make a post. My post is going to be this country girl shirt. Okay, so like what I'll do is I'll just go like this. Here's, here's my post. There's my link or whatever. And it didn't show up, so I'm going to refresh the page. Reload. I'm going to show you. It's going to, show, it's going to pull up. There's a little trick too. If, some, if, it, if you post your link and it doesn't pull up, you need to refresh. So there it goes. Now it's pulling up a picture. There's a picture of my shirt. Country Girls exclusive. It's got a shirt. It's got everything. Just by posting the link, I got a post. But I'm going to do something better than that. I'm going to say, you know what, that's kind, of, that's kind of silly. What if I do this instead? What if I just grab this shirt right here, take a screenshot of it, just like this. What if I just took a screenshot? Just like that, a picture. Um, let's go uh, country girls. I'm showing you guys literally how as beginners, how simple this is. Country girls advertisement. I created a shirt. I uploaded a logo, created a shirt, set up a page. Let's go back here. I just took a screenshot of that. Let's refresh this. I just took a screenshot of the shirt. That's how simple it was. And after taking a screenshot of the shirt, watch this. Photo, video, 
upload. And just like that, I uploaded a picture. Now watch how simple this is. Um, check out, uh, say, are you a, uh, tag a friend that is a country girl um, who can relate to this shirt, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'll say tag a friend who can, who's a country girl that can relate to this shirt. Um, and then I'll say something like, get it here. And then we'll put like the little link to it. You know, get it here. Um, we'll copy this link right here. Boom. And then I'll do, I'll maybe do that again. Get it here. I'll get it. And I'll say, get it here twice. Get it here. Get it here. So look, tag a friend that is a country girl who can relate to this shirt. Get it here. Get it her. Get it here. Or, um, get it in, I might do this, like get it in blue, get it in, get it in black. But I'll just say, get it here. Get it here. Okay. Um, and now this right here is a post. Watch this. Publish. Again, this is all free. Everything I've done right now is free. Watch what I've done. I've created a shirt for free. I mean, you have to have a graphic, but that's like five bucks or 10 bucks, something like that. But I've created a, I've created a whole entire page. I've gone on Facebook and I've created a post, which is just the picture of it, $29.95. And I said, tag a friend, get it here, get it here. So now I have a post. Now I would probably put it on my, um, what I would do is I'd probably build a Shopify site that was all about country related stuff. And then this would be just one product on my Shopify store. That's probably what I would do. But I'm just, just for the example of what is print on demand and how does it work, this is how it works. I've got this post now, and now I can advertise it. Country Girls Anthem. Now I can advertise this post. So now what I'll do is I'll go in here to create an ad, and I'll go over here and I'll do any one of these ads. I can do a conversion ad, whatever. We'll do this on another, another time, uh, like maybe when we, in maybe like day five or 10, we'll do, we'll go all about Facebook ads, but this is how simple it's going to be for you. Literally, I'm going to say country girls, shotgun, shirt. Literally, you're going to be able to go into Facebook and you're going to be able to choose, watch how, watch how cool this is going to be. Women in the United States, women, you're going to be able to go in and say, who should this post show to? Women, and don't worry, I'll train on this in depth in this 90 day challenge. You're going to learn all this. Women in the United States, who have an interest in, let's say, country music, okay? That is 29 million women. 29 million women in the United States have an interest in country music. So let's narrow this down. Must also have an interest in what happens if I do shotgun. Look at 830,000 people. Look at how cool this is. Right now, Facebook is going to allow me to show this post to women in the United States Let's even make it 21 and over. Women in the United States who are 21 and over who like country music and shotguns. 730,000 people. Just like that. Look at how cool that is. And then you can go over here and you can say, where do you want this ad to show? And look at all these places it can show. You can show it on Instagram. Or if you don't want to show it, you just uncheck that. You can show it on Facebook in the news feeds and these articles and these streams. What if I just want this thing to show up on Facebook in the newsfeed. When people are scrolling through the Facebook newsfeed, boom, there it is. I just check that box and it's gonna show up on the newsfeed. Now, how much am I gonna spend? Watch this, $5 a day, okay? $5 a day, continue, okay? $5 a day and then I gotta choose a page and let's just choose this uh, Country Girls Anthem page and there's my post and just like that. That's it. And then if you have a, if it, we'll get into this later, pixel tracking, that makes Facebook smarter. We'll get into all that stuff later. But look at how simple this was. This post I just made for $5 a day, Facebook will show this to women who like country music and shotguns, just like that. And you can just place the order. Okay. How simple was this, you guys? Just in a matter of seconds, now, in a matter of what, 20 minutes? What do we do? We found a print-on-demand site, we uploaded a graphic, put it on a sweatshirt, uh, took a picture of it, went over here, made a post, showed people where they can buy it, and then went into Facebook and we just advertised that post right now for $5 a day to win to the exact target audience, okay? Look, look at what we just did right here. Just watch what we just did. Um, example for this training video, okay? Example for this training video. Look, look at these steps that we did, okay? Watch this. We created a graphic, and this was the uh, uh, girls 
country girls plus shotgun um, graphic. Okay, we created a graphic. We uploaded that graphic to Gearbubble. We chose to put it on a hoodie. We priced the hoodie at how much did we price it at, you guys? How much was that? Twenty nine ninety five. We priced the hoodie at twenty nine ninety five. Uh, plus, I think it's got four ninety five shipping. There'll be some shipping plus shipping. So we priced it at twenty nine ninety five. We took a screenshot of the finished hoodie with graphic on it. We uploaded that as an image to a. Or no, we created a Facebook page. We created a Facebook page in the country girls niche. We uploaded that image to the fan page with links to buy it. We ran a $5 a day ad to women 21 plus USA who like country music and shotguns. Then we sit back and see if any sales come in over the next three days. Okay, that's it. Remember, our profit is $15, okay? If our profit, actually, I think our profit is more. Let's go back and let's look at what our, let's look at what our profit is on this, right? Let's see if we can go back a couple pages and we'll actually see what our profit, what our potential profit was. So our potential at 29 to five, our profit is $10 per sale, okay? So if our profit is $10.90 per sale, let's say the next two days, okay? Um, let's say two to four days. So um, our profit is $10 per sale roughly. So we can spend up to $10 to acquire a customer and break even. Our goal is to acquire customers for $5 or less. We keep experimenting until we find an advertising audience that works. If we can't find one, then we create a new product and new audience and try again. You guys, this is the name of the game. That's how simple it is right there in a number of steps, okay? Um, let's go down here and put this all on one screen so you can see it. Look at, look at this right here, okay? And then we'll do step number 15. When we find a winner, we scale it up by spending more, by creating more ads. Creating more ads to run per day, okay? That's what we do. So there's 15 steps right there. We'll, look what we did. We created a graphic. We uploaded it to Gearbubble. We put it on a product. We priced the product. We took a screenshot of it and uploaded that to Facebook, to a fan page we created. We ran a $5 a day ad trying to see if it would sell. And we're going to check the results in a couple days. Our profit is you know, roughly $10 so we know how much we can spend to break even. But of course, our goal is to profit, to make profit. Um, and we're just going to keep experimenting. If we can't find one, we try a new design, we try over. Okay, once we find a winner, we scale up. Now, that's not, that's just, that's just with this product here. Okay, so literally, like, that's just, we can go over here and we can sell this thing on Shopify too. You know, we can increase ROI on our Shopify store with one click integration. So we can actually put these products on our Shopify store. There's a video right here um, that you can learn about. Let me, let me go ahead and put this video in the, let me put the video in the, uh, the notes. Um, uh, here is a video showing how to integrate Gearbubble with Shopify.